Hi. I got so many questions regarding camouflage and where I like put off my blinds. Do I just put my blind up in random places and hope for the best? And the quick answer to that is no. There's a lot of work behind this kind of photography and that is what I like about it as well. But I don't place the height in random places and hope that anything will come by. That could work though, but can spend maybe weeks or months without seeing anything by doing that. A good example of that was a week ago. I was like <laughs> migrating from my family because all of the, my fa families had uh, stomach sickness and I didn't want to have that. So I went to a lake and uh, saw a lot of ducks when you are coming out of parks and uh, like places where they are used to people, they are really, really skittish. Ducks are one of the hardest species to photograph. They are so jumpy and can fly even when you are around 200 meters from them, uh, they can fly away. That doesn't make this easy. Knowing the, the subject and knowing where the birds are probably going to be and maybe look for signs around where they have been, that can give me the opportunity to know where I can place my hide. I found a place where I can come close to the water level um, and a little bit further out there was like a sandbank and on that sandbank there I saw a lot of feathers and uh, bird droppings from uh, ducks. So I put up the hockey blind near a large lake here and uh, hoping for some water birds. I heard both teals and mallards and I also hear a, a creep, great crested creep. But what I'm hoping for the most is either the common teal or the lapwing landing near here. I know there are some lapwings on the fields just around this little lake here. So that would be awesome if the lapwing would come and land here. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna spend the uh, next hours before the sunset around here and hopefully something interesting comes around. If I'm getting a duck close, I need to be really careful and I that I cannot vlog or anything. So yeah, now it's just a waiting game and let's hope there will be some birds in front of my hide. Good thing about laying here in the plane is the excitement. You never know, you never know what bird will show up in front of you. I thought that if I'm placing a blind near that and just waiting, uh, the possibility for some ducks coming there to roost at night is quite high. See and hear the teal maybe 200 meters from me and it has a piece straight at me. There is a little sandbank just in front of me and it could be they are like heading for this one here just to rest and if it does I think I'm going to let the bird come close before I move the camera 
I have a two times converter on the 500. So this gives me a thousand millimeter F8, but there is some light, so it should be okay. Just outside pruning. Not far away, but now I dare to speak because it has been there for a little while. But at this place here, I was pointing at that little sandbank, so I didn't have to move my camera. And with uh, the set 9 and the silent shutter, that was perfect combo. And I could take a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, and the duck didn't recognize me at all. <laughs> 